my work is very much autobiographical and uh, I feel like it is uh, inspired by my gendered experience and my immigrant experience. My work is me. Uh, throughout my life uh, I have been always surrounded by uh, strong uh, and self-sufficient women and uh, as long as I remember myself uh, since uh, childhood I think the example of uh, women uh, comes from my family they were just uh, inspiring uh, strong personalities but I think foremost they were loving, uh, my grandmothers, my mom, and uh, I was always amazed how they were combining uh, work with uh, family life. I was also seeing how much of uh, societal pressure it was an expectations uh, from uh, women to be kind of a first place uh, to be successful in family life uh, in country like uh, Kazakhstan. The portraits are more of portraits of myself and uh, of course my surrounding influences me a lot uh, but the influence comes uh, more of a emotional influence rather than physical one so it, it would never be a copy of some person but uh, it would rather reflect uh, emotional state of uh, somebody I am inspired by uh, through my work I try to uh, portray the the strength of a, of a woman and which can be both uh, straightforward and uh, it can be more of a uh, hidden strength. So I also call it the power of vulnerability. There are many personal stories uh, behind uh, my paintings and one of my favorite ones is uh, the painting where uh, I, s I see myself and my mom in it and it is uh, uh, from a Sisterhood series and it's kind of two women sit next to each other and one is smaller than another one but at the same time uh, the smaller one looks like a grown-up so it's like a short <laughs> short grown-up woman and it's it's me and it's kind of me but at the same time being child of my mother who is like a, a taller woman and uh, I see us there sitting with the closed eyes and kind of uh, having this silent understanding and it's my favorite work and I kept it in my own collection. For me as an artist, the most important to receive uh, a feedback from my uh, art collectors gives me so much motivation. I think this makes my work even like meaningful and it gives me purpose when I receive an emotional feedback.
initially I didn't have uh, an intention to uh, involve uh, any uh, political or social context behind my work but uh, now very often I hear uh, uh, the, such feedback uh, that my my work is uh, deeply connected to women's rights uh, uh, activism and I feel uh, responsible now for this topic uh, as, a, as an artist and uh, as a woman uh, that's why uh, I want to uh, like deepen my knowledge and become a uh, kind of a expert in this field uh, so I will be doing uh, uh, studies uh, master's studies in global gender history uh, so that I will provide uh, more themes on uh, women's rights, on uh, gendered experience. I will give a deeper context in my new work. Identity is just as the quality of light, it varies. It can be from uh, uh, the soft hues of uh, down to uh, sharp uh, brightness of uh, midday to uh, fading uh, blurriness of uh, the dusk. It has different shades uh, and textures and uh, this is what helps us to embark new opportunities, to embrace new challenges and to uh, <laughs> navigate uh, throughout the complexities of uh, relationships and uh, environment. Previously, the highlight of my work was a gendered experience and now I want to uh, reveal uh, the topic of identity because I feel as a society we have a lot of personal burden and social pressure to identify ourselves and uh, it's such a complex topic identity is not permanent uh, final state it is uh, uh, rather an ongoing process uh, which is uh, constantly changing and uh, you could see how I uh, developed as an artist and foremost as a human being because previously my brush strokes were more of uh, emotional, expressive and uh, wild which gave it uh, also an abstract feel and uh, now the brush stroke is more gentle and smooth and uh, I want to give it a velvety feel and also involve tactile senses, that you feel uh, the work on your fingers, uh, on your fingertips, on your skin. I'm inspired by nature sometimes. I feel like it's important uh, for me as an artist to have my own solitude and connection with uh, nature, with this uh, dynamic and uh, uh, ever-changing uh, force. Um, it is vital for my work and my work reflects the, the colors of nature and the power of nature. Uh, I am preparing this new work where I do the studies on the topic of identity for my upcoming exhibitions in uh, Berlin and Paris. I am the most proud of uh, the strong uh, collector's base I have. It's a strong, self-sufficient uh, women with a big heart and who know how to love. I know it because of the generosity in their kindness that I receive via the feedback and communication and even friendship that I am able to build with them. I would say this is one of those aspects I'm most proud of.